Hey guys, I'm here to tell you today about the Pharmacup. The Pharmacup comes in two different sizes, a smaller size and a bigger size. It also comes in two different colors, pink and white. So today I will tell you a little bit about the Pharmacup and how to use it. The Pharmacup comes in this box. When you open it, it comes out like this. Your Pharmacup will come with its own reusable cotton bag for storage, and it comes with a set of instructions for use so you know how to use it. There are two different sizes which I will show you right now. The pink is a bigger size, and then the white is a smaller size. You can see like this. It's a very flexible cup, and it comes with a little tail, which you can remove at your preference. So now, I will tell you some ways to use the Pharmacup. When you are using the Pharmacup, you need to make sure you boil it in hot water for three to five minutes, just to make sure it's sterilized. After so, wash your hands with warm running water. Also use a non-fragrance soap. This will help prevent some irritations. Use the soap on your hands and on the Pharmacup. When you are finished, dry the Pharmacup. When you are ready for insertion, just relax. Find a spot that you are comfortable with. Maybe you are squatting, sitting on a toilet. It's up to you. You will find out what works best for you. When you are getting ready to use the Pharmacup, there are a couple ways to fold it. You can do a punch fold, like this. A seven fold where you take the top, fold it down. There are many different ways. Find out what you like the best, and that can be your new way to use it. When you are ready for insertion, you may be able to use a small amount of water or water-based lubricant, whatever you're comfortable with. Fold the sani cup in whatever way makes you the most comfortable and insert into your vagina. When the sani cup is in, release it and the cup will pop back open. You can feel the base of the cup to make sure that it is completely round. The cup can be worn for about 12 hours. This may differ depending on how heavy your flow is. Some people may change it up to every four hours, but most people find they only need to change it in the mornings and the evenings. Before you are ready to remove the Pharma Cup, wash your hands again with warm soapy water and get, in a comfortable that, get into a position that is most comfortable for you. Again, this can be standing, it can be squatting, or sitting on a toilet. Once your hands are clean, all you need to do is press on your stomach a little bit to make sure the cup is pushed down. You can reach up into, the, into your vagina and find the base of it. Sometimes people help finding, uh, people find that pushing your stomach down can actually help push the cup further down so that you can reach it. All you need to do is push on the base of the cup just a little bit. This will help re release the vacuum seal the cup has made. Once the seal is released, you can wiggle the cup back and forth until it is out. When you are, when you are done, empty the cup into a toilet. If you can, try to wash it with some warm soapy water. If you're out and about and can't wash it, all you need to do is just wipe it with some toilet paper or a sanitary wipe if you have one. And then you can store it and wash it when you get home. Once you have washed it, you can reinsert the Pharma Cup. At the end of your period when you don't need to use the Pharma Cup anymore, again, wash the Pharma Cup and you can re-sterilize it in boiling water for three to five minutes again. Once you dry it off, you can put it into this pouch and store it for your next period.